though the run through Tibet was held under very heavy security. Beautifulpeople.net is a new Canadian online dating service. Only beautiful people need apply. As Rob Brown reports, those who believe beauty is just skin deep say it doesn't get more shallow than this. Vancouver's chic Robson Street, where the beautiful people of BC stop to shop. Just ask them. Do you consider yourself beautiful? Yes, I think. Yes, I do, I guess. That's the type beautifulpeople.net is targeting. It's a social networking site with a simple rule. Only physically attractive people need apply. It's where you can build both personal and professional relationships um, with other extremely beautiful people. Potential members submit a picture and personal profile. Existing members of the opposite sex then vote on whether the applicant is worthy of the website. You then either send a mail accepting you into this coveted community or you're told, I'm sorry, the members of Beautiful People do not find your profile attractive enough. Ouch. No surprise. Critics say the whole concept is shallow and stuck in the Stone Age. The message that that gives girls in the culture, boys and girls, but particularly girls about appearance, is quite damaging. Lisa Naylor counsels teens with body image issues and also works with the soap company Dove. She points to its current ad campaign emphasizing normal body images as a step in the right direction, calling the website a step backwards. There's not just beauty. Jacqueline Liveton teaches how women are portrayed in pop culture and says the site is just another example of how the women's movement hasn't made the gains it hoped to. So I don't think things have changed all that much. I think that we have uh, done a lot of backsliding. No, it's not politically correct at all. Greg Hodge is unapologetic, saying the site simply reflects society. And the company claims thousands of Canadians are already applying for membership. Rob Brown, CTV News, Vancouver. And we'll be right back. Tonight's lineup is brought to you by L'International des Feux.